So you want to use Optifine with Fabric Mods. Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to get the Optifabric mod, which links Fabric and Optifine together, allowing you to use Optifine with your Fabric mods. First things first, we need to download the Optifabric mods. You can find this at the second link in the description down below. That will take you here, where you can scroll down and click on the Download Optifabric button. Uh, this is a text tutorial. If you'd rather use a text tutorial on getting Optifabric, that's kind of up to you, but let's go ahead and click the Download Optifabric button to be taken to the official Optifabric download page. On this page, what we want to do is click on Files here, and then we want to find the 1.20.1 version of OptiFabric. For us, it's right up here at the top, as you can see, 1.20.1. Click the three dots on the right-hand side, and click Download File. While this is downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. If you want to start your own Minecraft server, look no further than Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown .xyz sgh. At Simple Game Hosting, you can set up a Minecraft server quickly and easily. We have one-click mod pack installation, an incredible easy-to-use panel that lets you manage your server, and we have live chat support should you have any issues alongside our world-class knowledge base. You can have plugins, mods, mod packs to your server, and everything is simple and easy to use. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash SG. H. Nonetheless, as you can see, OptiFabric has downloaded. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. It is 100% safe to keep OptiFabric. We also want to download Optifine. Optifine is required because you need Optifine in order to get the Optifine features. All OptiFabric does is sit in the middle between Fabric and Optifine and make them work together. So we need to download Optifine. This is linked in the description down below. When you're here, scroll down and click on the Download Optifine button. That will take you to the official Optifine download page where you want to find the Minecraft 1.20.1 version. If you're watching this in the future, you may need to click show all versions, but for us, it automatically appears. Then we want to come under here and download our version of Optifine. Just click on mirror here. It's going to bypass an ad if we do that. And then on this page, all we've got to do is click on the purple download button, and Optifine will begin downloading right away. We may need to keep or save Optifine in the bottom left, but that is 100% normal if that is the case, so don't worry about it. Nevertheless, there is one more thing we've got to download, and that, of course, is the Fabric Mod Loader itself, because, well, we're playing Fabric Mods here, and we're playing Fabric, so we want to make sure we get the Fabric Mod Loader. You guessed it. There's a link in the description down below. Takes you here. We're going to go ahead and click on the Download Fabric button to go to the official Fabric download page. On this page, go ahead and click on the Download Universal Jar link. The reason we're doing that is it's going to ensure that all your Minecraft mods in the future work if you install Fabric using the Universal Jar. So go ahead and click on that Download Universal Jar link, and Fabric will begin downloading the bottom left. Just like everything else, you may need to keep or save it. Then we go ahead and minimize our browser. Let's move all of these files to our desktop. So we go ahead and open our Downloads folder. And then in our Downloads folder, we will be able to see absolutely all the files we downloaded. So that's Fabric, Optifine, and OptiFabric. Go ahead and move these to your desktop. They won't live here forever, but just while we're doing this video and installing them together. So first thing we want to actually do is get Fabric because, well, we can't install Optifine and OptiFabric until Fabric is installed. So to do that, go ahead and right click on the Fabric installer you downloaded, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But if you don't have Java here, what do you do? Well, in that case, what you want to do is go ahead and download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods, and guess what? This is a Minecraft mod, so we need to download Java 17. This is a super in-depth guide to get it. You may also need to run the jar fix, and this is linked in the description down below as well. But don't run the jar fix until you've gotten Java. So get Java, then run the jar fix, and then you'll be able to open up Fabric, again, by right-clicking on it, clicking on Open With, clicking Java, and clicking OK. That opens up the Fabric installer right like so, where we want to make sure that one 1.20.1 is selected. You want to make sure the create profile checkbox is clicked and then click install. Now it's going to download and install Fabric. The only reason that wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher is open. If either of those are open, close out of them, then reinstall Fabric. Or if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.1 before, you will need to go play it with no mods, just latest released 1.20.1, open it to the main menu, and close it. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and click OK, and we can close out of the Fabric installer, as well as delete the Fabric installer from our desktop. Now let's get Optifine and, well, OptiFabric installed together. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher, and then in the Minecraft launcher, you should have a Fabric installation, right? There should be a Fabric installation already there, ready to go. If you don't have one, though, I'll show you how to fix that, but no matter what, don't click play yet. As you can see, we have Fabric Loader there. That means it's good, but we need to install our mods first. If you don't have Fabric here in this dropdown or anything, go ahead and click on Installations. Then make sure Modded is checked in the top right. As you can see, I deselect Modded. Fabric disappears. I check it. There it is. If you still don't have this, though, click New Installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Simple Game Hosting because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. Even if you want mods like Fabric Mods, you can do it at Simple Game Hosting and play it with your friends. Now, for the version dropdown box, this is the important part. We want to select Release Fabric Loader 1.20.1, which is right up here at the top for me. You may need to scroll down to find yours, 
but for me it's right up here at the top and then I'm going to change my resolution so you can see later once we get in game better but now click create now we have this new simplegamehosting.com fabric version as well as the one that was there by default no matter what though to install your OptiFabric and OptiFine mods together just hover over your fabric installation either when you create it or the one that's there by default and click on the folder icon that's going to open up your Minecraft folder, and in here, you should have a mods folder. But if you're like me, you don't have one. So if you don't have one, just right-click and create one. So right-click, create a new folder, and title it Mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that, and open your mods folder. Now drag and drop Optifine and Optifabric, both of them at the same time, into the mods folder here. Once they're both in your mods folder, we can close out of the mods folder and launch Minecraft using our fabric installation. You'll always have to play Minecraft with your fabric installation in order to use your fabric mods. And by the way, if you want to install other fabric mods, just make sure they are mods that are for fabric and that they're for 1.20.1. If they are, you can add them to that mods folder right alongside Optifine and Optifabric and they will work once the game is open. Nevertheless, I will see you on the Minecraft main menu. So here we are, Minecraft is open, and you can see in the bottom left, Optifine, right there it is, as well as Fabric. Now if we go to Options, Video Settings, you can also see all the different Optifine settings here. It's all here, it's all good to go. We can go into Shaders, activate a Shaders pack, for example, and then go check it out in-game. It's actually crazy that you can use Fabric Mods with Shaders. Super simple, super easy to do, and guess what? Now any fabric mod can be used with this and you'll have shaders so so cool and sure enough there is shaders even though the uh the weather is a bit poor let's go ahead and <laughs> fix that there we go so yeah now you have optifine you have fabric and you have them together hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week my name is nick we will see you in the next video and i'm out peace